welcome back to the channel. We are here. This is it. We're going to the Peak District. Um, so the plan is, is we're going to set off. We're going to take from sort of around here. We're going to head up uh, probably the motorway, some of the boring stuff. But we're going to go to Matlock Bath. Um, how often do you see on the forums and people putting pictures up of Matlock Bath? All the time. So we need to go and check it out. I know they've got Abraham Heights there. Um, so we might get to try and check that out. The other side of it is as well is... I always find it interesting. People seem to eat fish and chips at Matlock Bath. Now, in the UK, we tend to do that at the seaside. Well, I think I can see a river or a canal going by Matlock Bath. So, I don't get the fish and chips thing. I kind of, to me, Matlock Bath just seems like a town that goes through. So, I'm going to be just sort of interested to sort of see what's actually there because it seems to be this big biker town. Um, so, let's go and check out Matlock Bath. Um, and then I've got a route from the Tom Tom that we uh, used on. Um, so we used like a route on the Welsh weekend where you basically download it straight to your sat nav and it's pre programmed route and it comes from adventurerider.com or one of their sources. Um, I can't find this route anywhere else but on the Tom Tom sat nav itself to download, but I'm pretty sure it's Adventure Rider route anyway. So we're going to then join that and we're going to sort of use the Snake Pass and we're going to sort of check out all the stuff there and there's some like famous lakes where there's some. They practiced some Lancashire or some bomber thing came over. Um, so that's quite cool there as well. We're going to try and stop at as many of the weird and wonderful places as we can. I've got a hotel room for uh, for the night. So we're going to rock up there, check that out. And then they've got like the highest town in the UK that we can check out as well. We're obviously going to stop as much as possible and do as much as possible and see as much as possible. So there's as many as much as possible as a much as possible person can say. And we're going to do all of that lot and we're going to have a, hopefully a whale of a time. There's two of us on this trip, it's me and I'm going to take my wife on the back. So hopefully you'll sort of check out what the comms and things are like, um, what everything's like basically. We're going to have the bike fully loaded. So we're going to give the bike a real test out as well. So I'm really excited. So the only thing we can do now for me is for me to go away and pack up, jump on the bike and let's get going. Good times! So we're finally on our way. We've packed everything in. The wife's got all her makeup in one bag. And we're all good to go. So um, I've got uh, what we're doing with the comms because the comms are always really dodgy because we've got a universal one and a centre one. We've done it via phone call, and it's actually a big improvement. But obviously, if we lose signal via phone call, we'll cut off. So I think because today we've got like a temperature of nearly 30 degrees, and they're saying could possibly go over. So it's going to be a really hot day. So I don't think I'll be eating fish and chips in this heat. Um, Probably more likely a salad sandwich because obviously I'm healthy and skinny and all that. Um, but yeah, looking forward to getting there. Anyway, the route there is pretty much um, sort of main road and motorway until we pretty much get to Matlock Bath. Um, so it's not all that exciting to watch. But obviously once we're in Matlock Bath, we'll get some good old filming being done there. Um, and we'll check it all out and we'll see what the site's like and take our time. We've got all day today, so we've massively planned our time so uh, we've got, we can visit as many places as we possibly can and enjoy this entire adventure. Um, but yeah, keep tuned and uh, we'll see you when we get either near Matlock Bath or in Matlock Bath. So let's rock and roll and let's go! So we've done the really sort of boring bit of the motorway and it is so boring. Um, we tried like using the comms differently because I don't particularly want to buy another set of centre comms right now. Um, so we tried using the uh, by phone call. But what happened was, was um, again, it's just so, it's the extortion. Now the exhaust this is really, really loud and maybe that's sort of causing the issue. But you just can't hear each other and to the point where I kind of wish I'd just put my earplugs in and put some music on. Because um, obviously it's just distortion and loudness. It just gives you a headache after a while. Um, but yeah, anyway, we've got seven miles now left to go. Um, filled up the tank so we're all good for the rest of the journey. Um, obviously we're going to be going Matlock Bath and then we're going to be heading on to that route um, it's um, it's just so beautiful beautiful warm day um, and it's so nice to get off the motorway as soon as you get off of it it's like oh, nice A-roads you can move around in your seat and your bit of leaning going on and even poodling at this pace is nicer than being sat on a motorway at 70 mile an hour in wooden position um, so it's all good and then using um Using the uh, little um, throttle lock I've got here is just fantastic. All you do with the throttle lock is you slide it down and then you're cruising at um, 
70 miles an hour or 50 miles an hour, whatever you want to do when you've got a nice clear bit, just give that give that hand that little bit of like relief off of having to hold on. Um, and even if it only lasts for a minute, it's a minute of relaxation I really like. Um, so I've already seen a few bikers. Um, well, it's all good. So I've got a big feeling this place is going to be absolutely rammed. Um, so fingers crossed we can find a place to park and uh, I really, really, really want a nice cold drink now, so I'm looking forward to that as well. But anyway, we're not far now, so I'll um, report in next time we get there. You've got to look at this. The roads have just got beautiful, twisty, fast roads, and then into this, look, the valley going down. Oh, and it's stunning. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh look, cows. Love the way that 50-50 on bikers, 50 of them are nodders, politers, the other 50 are just arrogant sausage heads. We're going. Matlock Garden Centre. So this must be it. We must be coming into Matlock Bath now. Oh yeah, so there's got two, uh, two miles to go to the centre, so beautiful. Look at the valley, you can just know when we hit this route it's going to be, it's going to hit you, isn't it? It's just going to be absolutely lovely all the way. Poor wife will be hanging on the back going, whoa, as I'm flying around the bends. But hey, it's that hot, you need that little bit of wind to go in, stay nice and cool, otherwise you just get to be a big sweat bucket. So we made it to Matlock Bath. I went to Matlock by mistake and then realised we need to go to Matlock Bath. Um, it seems really pretty. It's absolutely heaving with bikes and people. So we're going to go and get something nice and cold to drink now and take a walk around. So let's explore Matlock Bath and see if it's actually worth visiting or not. Here we go. We basically have come to Matlock Bath, not Bath by the way, because obviously I went to Bath first by like a plonker. Um, so, so far we've parked up, walked along, found a cash point because everywhere seems to take cash. Um, and we've had a beer, so I feel a bit tipsy because I've not eaten all day. Um, but it's beautiful so far, it's just really, really hot, full of bikes everywhere. It's like bike porn basically, they just go by constantly. So um, we're going to have a walk around and get some food now, but yeah, it's looking good. Random thing happened, some guy just shouted, we're headset friends. Um, my wife's headset is a cheap, <laughs> like the BT cheapo one. Is that good? We're headset friends. I'm really excited. Went, oh yeah. And Carolyn Morgan was going, but, but we're headset friends. It's like he you know, either was really drunk or he's just lost the plot. But interestingly, um, anyway, you get your randos, don't you? Every single where that you go, we're trying to find someone to get a sandwich. There's fish and chip literally every place we go. Now look, does this look like the seaside? No, but we want just a cold, nice egg mayo sandwich or something. But anyway, we're going to keep looking. So I'm not sure if you can hear me because we're right next to a main road. But basically, we're going to have fish and chips when we got it because it's just full of fish and chip shops. But basically, we don't want fish and chips. It's too hot with 30 odd degrees. We've had no breakfast. Um, so we've basically pulled over. I told my wife that we were going to buy jam and bread because it's what they do in the old olden days. But I've ordered a breakfast, so uh, we're going to enjoy that now. But this is what we got looks cracking so we're going to eat that now and enjoy it but yeah it's all right for lunch isn't it so that's matlock bath pretty much um i don't know if you can tell well, tell you can't tell, can you? But just to summarise what's happened um, on our little trip. So we've obviously I've gone to Matlock, not Matlock Bath. Now we've got to Matlock Bath, and um, the temperature is absolutely soaring. I don't even know what it is out there, but it's got to be 30 plus degrees. We uh, got off the bike. We're really thirsty. Went and had a beer. I mean, Matlock Bath is a stunning place. Look, we're going for it now. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so we had a beer, we walked along a little bit, and like, oh, we'll get some food. We had a breakfast because it just we missed breakfast, so kind of a little fried breakfast was nice in a cafe. The sun slowly sort of changed as we were eating, so we got a little bit hot again. 
finished that and literally I was like, I need something really cold to uh, drink or eat, so I ended up buying an ice cream. We had an ice cream, so we had a beer, a fried breakfast and an ice cream of all the things in the world that you could possibly want. Um, so we've had all of them. Um, but Matlock Bath is obviously a huge, huge tourist trap. It is fantastic. Um, very, very busy. Um, it's basically like going to an... It's, it, all I can summarise is it's an old town. I don't get the fish and chip shop thing at all because um, it is just full of fish and chip shops. It's like where I live, there's, hair, there's hairdressers. It's just full of, hair, of hairdressers. You can't literally go more than a few shops without there being another hairdresser. Here, it's just fish and chip shops. Um, it's a proper random... Um, but it does get a thumbs up. It's definitely as biker. It is like I said. It is like bike porn. You get every single type of bike going flying by um, and pulling up. And I mean every type, from beautiful Ducatis down to Triumph Bonnevilles to Bobbers to every sort of possible bike, scooters, the whole works. They're all there. So you know, for a place if you can get there and back for a place to visit, I definitely recommend it. Mallard Bath is really cool. Just be like, if you're anything like me, you're not into busy places, you've got to kind of take up a little bit of a chill out attitude of going, that's where I'm going to visit. I know it's going to be busy, but I can sit in a pub and just, you know, scenically watch. Again, full of bikers. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to do that really sad thing that probably winds everyone up and go, give us a thumbs up and hit the bell button and subscribe if you haven't, not to miss an episode. But if you really, really enjoy it, I hope that you do, you're naturally going to do that anyway. Um, but anyway, episode two coming up next, where we're going to be hitting the Peak District properly now, because obviously on the gateway, we're going to be doing the Snake Pass and so on and so on and so on. So tune in for episode two, and you can carry on from where we're just about to uh, leave you. Um, but thank you so much for watching, as always. Take care.